Hey, what's up, Camper Debate? Jackie T here. Welcome back to Camper Debate TV. Now, this month, it's gotten a little chilly, so I want you to shout out your favorite thing to do in the chilly weather. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, I heard drinking hot chocolate, watching a movie, or having a bonfire? I love to do all of those things. Now, let's go over our virtue of giving. Giving helps me show love to God and others. Let's say it with you. Why don't you say it with me? One, two, three. Giving helps me show love to God and others. Good job. All right, Camp Renovate, stand up to your feet and let's sing our song, Real Love. Staring into your eyes makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I met you. Reaching beyond the skies Running deep, stretching wide Perfect love realized Here with you Come on now Now the sun is for real You will never let go Never let go Oh, there's more than just words Love beyond my control Out of control Let's up! This is real love This is real love as our memory verse last week, 2 Corinthians in the New Testament. Let's read it all together. It's in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7. This is what it says. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. You shouldn't give if you don't want to. You shouldn't give if you're forced to. God loves a cheerful giver. Let's say that last part all together on the count of three. God loves a cheerful giver. Now we're gonna head out to the land so we can tell our Bible story. So grab your backpack and I'll see you out there. Renovate, 
Welcome back to The Land for week four of our series talking about giving. Now today we are in the middle of the prayer trail here on the future land of Renovation Church. Now last week we talked about how Renovation was going to do a prayer walk. Now you might not have ever heard of a prayer walk before, but I'm here to tell you what it is. A prayer walk, we were going to gather together and walk the land and pray for five specific things. The first thing, we were going to praise God for all that He has already done. Second thing, we were going to pray for Topsoul, pray for our community. The third one, we were going to pray for the land. The fourth one, we were going to pray for our one, the person that is close to us but far from God. And number five, we were going to pray for the future. So today while I tell our Bible story, we're going to walk this prayer trail and here we go. Ready? Now if you have your Bible, I want you to turn to John chapter 12 verses 1 through 9. Okay, are you ready? Verse 1, this is what it says. It was six days before the Passover feast and Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus lived. Now Lazarus was one that had, Jesus had raised from the dead. A dinner was given in Bethany to honor Jesus. Martha had served the food. Now Lazarus was among the people at the table with Jesus. So far we have Martha, Jesus, and Lazarus sitting down together sharing a meal. Now the next person that's about to come onto the scene is very important, so let's take a look. In verse 3 it says, Then Mary took a pint of expensive perf perfume and she poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. Now, we have Mary here. They just finished eating dinner. She takes an expensive bottle of perfume and she pours it on Jesus' feet and starts wiping it with her hair. Can you imagine seeing this? You're at dinner, sitting and listening to Jesus talk, and then she pours a very expensive bottle of perfume on his feet and just starts wiping it with her hair. I don't know what I would do if I saw that, but let's see what they did. The house was filled with the sweet smell of perfume, but Judas didn't like what Mary did. He was one of Jesus' disciples. Later, he was going to hand Jesus over to the enemies. Now, Jesus, Jesus, now Judas said, Why wasn't this perfume sold? Why wasn't the money given to poor people? It was worth a year's pay. Thanks. Now, Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, didn't like what Mary did. He thought the money should be given to the poor. But in a second, we're going to read, that's not really why he said that. This is what he says. He didn't say this because he cared about the poor. He didn't say it because he was a thief. Judas was in charge of the money bag, and he used it to help himself for what was in it. So every amount of money that they gave to Judas, he would take a little bit and keep for himself, and then give the rest away. So he didn't really care what Mary was doing, or why she would use expensive perfume. He just wanted the money that she used. Let's see what Jesus says in verse 7. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. The perfume was meant for the day that I was buried. You will always be, have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Now, this passage of scripture goes exactly with what we're talking about of giving. Now, Mary had the chance to honor Jesus, and that's exactly what she did. She took something that was very valuable to her, and maybe the others didn't agree, but it was very valuable to her, and she gave it to Jesus. And when we're talking about giving this month, that's exactly what I want you to do here in Camp Renovate. I want you to think about things that are valuable to you that could honor Jesus. Honor Jesus with our time, our treasures, and our talents. Remember that first week we did? Time talents and treasures, that's exactly what we're talking about today. So let's say time, talents, and treasures on the count of three all together. Ready? Time, talents, and treasures. Good job. 